Yo, what is up, everybody? Jumping here, and today I'm going to be continuing my Let's Play Dark Souls. A lot of you guys um, were commenting, saying that you definitely wanted to see some more of this, so I am happy to play it. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and get into it right away. So, you know, I pretty much just got to the second bonfire, like, in the last part, and now it's time to go and do this beginning part. Um, I will say this though, um, I have seen some comments in the first, it looks like in the first, um, uh, episode or whatever, I, a lot of people were like saying, yo, jump in, I challenge you to a duel. And it's cool if you guys want to PvP me and stuff, I get it, but, um, I did want to say, hold on, I'm scared. Alright, no, I'm good. Why the what the That's just what this game does to me, it makes me freaking talk, it makes me talk in tongues. Anyway, you know, it's cool that if you, if you guys want to PvP me and stuff, but I will say this. I actually do not have my older files anymore because I um, got a new Xbox, like, right before Mass Effect 3 came out. And when I got that new Xbox, um, I never actually got the transfer cable or anything like that. So a lot of my game files I actually ended up just kind of losing or just not caring about. Uh, the only couple, there was a couple of them that I did care about, like Mass Effect and uh, things like that, Skyrim, and I wanted to keep some of those people, but, you know, outside of that, most of my other games, I just said, oh, I'll just start over if I ever play those games again, and this was one of those games that I really enjoy starting over in this game. I find it to be really fun, whoa! Gotta watch out right here. Watch out for the fire, for the firebomb guy. Cut him up real quick. Um... Also, we need to go up on this tower. There's going to be a guy with a crossbow up here, and he will shoot you in the back if you don't come up here and kill him real quick. And I just got me a crossbow as well. Nice. Also, one thing I realized, because I kind of watched that first part, is that my controller was kind of loud. And I'm going to have to apologize for that, but... Oh, man, I'm going to miss that fireball. Anyway... I have to apologize for that, but there's really nothing I can do about that since that my I have a stand-up mic, and uh, it's kind of like sitting right next to my controller. So as I press buttons and stuff, it probably will pick that up, and that's unfortunate. But uh, if you guys don't know, I ended up breaking my old controller I used for Mass Effect from playing Mass Effect because you press I think it was like the, the A button on that controller got messed up. That was, I mean, that was definitely such a bitch. Uh, let me not go down there. You do not want to go down there early game. There's a dark or black knight that can pretty much poop on you pretty easily at this low level. Um, over here, this is actually kind of important. Hopefully I'll be able to show you this. This is really cool, but you definitely want to get that, that uh, gold pine resin, I think is the name of it. It lets you add lightning to your weapon, and it's going to make this first boss battle a lot easier. But yeah, my controller situation sucks because uh, when my old controller from Mass Effect broke... I hate this dodge! Alright. Um, when my old one broke, you know, that was, that was definitely... That was definitely such a bitch. I mean, it was. And then I bought me a kind of fancy, um, cool, kind of like gaming kind of controller. Had some extra buttons and stuff, and it was really cool. But then I had a buddy who was telling me, uh, you know, oh, I got that, you know, I bought that controller as well. Gotcha. <laughs> but uh, my buddy was telling me that he also had that controller, but he told me that the sticks were kind of flimsy on them, and they could break easily. So, you know, I was like, uh-oh. And what happened was is that when I was at my sister's house for the holidays, that controller I put in a bag and I guess it got put in the trunk or something and I don't know what happened but yeah guess what the freaking stick broke on it so it's almost like unusable now because the left stick is like totally broken oh you hit me of course um but yeah man the left stick is just like totally broken and it just does not work well at all I mean I can't barely run and stuff, and I wish I could use that controller because it's kind of like uh, this this new one I got. So basically, I bought another one. So this is my third controller now, uh, and this is a regular Xbox controller wired. Um, I like it. It's just that it's brand new, so the buttons are not really worn in yet. So when I press buttons and 
all that. Like, you can kind of hear it, so... You know, I apologize for that, but uh, there's really nothing I can do about it. Alright, so before we fight this guy, let's go ahead and take these off. You don't really need those at all, to be quite honest, unless you're fighting people in PvPs and such. Um, let's go ahead and equip this thing and apply it to our sword. Let's see here. Actually, should maybe... Maybe block in this battle? I can't really remember. I don't think you can block this guy. Alright! So the first time you come here, you're like, "Oh God, what is that?" Woo! That's just how it, the reactions in this game are hilarious when people first play it, and you see some of this stuff, some of these monsters. You're just like, "Oh my God!" You know, just so terrifying. All right, jump on his fucking head. Look at the damage. I mean, the damage is freaking insane. Get some free hits in too. Now we gotta dodge. We gotta dodge. Ah! Ran out of stamina. Oh god, he runs so freaking fast. He runs so fast. Runs so fast. But anyway, so we gotta go up top and um, pray that he doesn't hit us. Oh, I'm scared. I'm so scared right now. Alright, let me go ahead and heal. He can't. Oh no! I don't have my heal on. Okay. Ooh. Okay. He can jump up here, so you gotta be careful. Oh, no, 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 there he goes! Oh, oh my god. Right away. Alright, I should be able to heal. Okay, there goes my lightning. Let's see if I can hit him with a fireball. And I did, I did, I did. And you don't, you don't want to dodge. You don't want to lock on to him, honestly. Get your dick out of my fucking face! How about heal, 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 heal. I'm going to get hit again, so it really doesn't matter if I heal. Alright, I feel I'm going to die. He has me, like, super cornered. Don't hit me. Do not hit me. Oh, I got lucky. Alright, heal up. Oh, my God. Okay, wow, you missed. Alright, awesome. Alright, let's go up the ladder and pray he doesn't hit us. I think he is. Okay, no. Oh, he did! Ah, oh, you bastard! Alright, man. This first... Every time I fight this guy, he scares the shit out of me, man. Alright. Let's go ahead and jump on his fucking head, you fucking bastard. I think I might be able to finish him with some attacks. Yeah, I got him. Woo! Man, oh, man, oh, man! <sighs> that is such a bitch, but... You know, lucky for me, I was able to do it. Didn't die. But I gotta be honest, guys, I was uh, definitely sweating there for a minute. But, I don't know, he's a weird boss. Like, you can dodge past him and stuff and all that goodness. But, you know, the thing with him, though, for some reason, like, what, I'm, what I noticed is that um, if you kind of dodge, you, you tend to dodge in his dick. No joke. And, like, you just get trapped. It's, it's kind of a bitch, and if you lock onto him, it's even worse. Alright, so we come down here. It's going to be this guy. And uh, this is pretty much how you get the co-op option. But, you know, I'll be honest with you. The co-op option when I used to play this game was just so lame. I bought this game because my buddy told me about it. And I was like, dude, it'd be so cool if we could play it together and do some co-op and do some PvPs and stuff. And that's why I bought the game. But then, like, you know, unfortunately, I was never ever able to actually um, play with my friend and that was just really lame so and that's just like I just I don't understand like how this co-op stuff works in this game I maybe they fixed it by now but I mean normally if you're trying to if you're trying to play with somebody you can never play with them but you can play with like randoms and stuff it just is weird all right maybe you guys could explain that to me like what's the problem in this game and stuff but uh... just leave a comment all that alright let's talk to this fool though you know everybody in this world is fucking crazy and weird and everything uh, like that hello you don't look hollow far from it i am soler of astora an adherent of the lord of sunlight now that i am undead i have come to this great land the birthplace of lord gwyn to seek my very own son do you find that strange well, you should. No need to hide your reaction. I get that look all the time. <laughs> Alright. So as you can tell, this dude's fucking crazy. But for some reason, everyone you could talk to in this game, you have to talk to him like three times to actually get, like, information out of him. Oh, aha. Uh -huh. So I didn't... I have a problem. Okay. I can't hear any dialogue, mm -hmm. but... Whatever. Yeah, what's my decision? Sure. You want my help? I'll take the help. We are, you know. Strange. That's weird. Where did the dialogue go? The dialogue just disappeared on me. 
Oh. Let's see here. Yeah, no more dialogue. Okay. In fact, I don't even know if I have any sound. Oh. The sound. Oh. If okay. All right, you know, I do have sound. I'm just an idiot. My foot accidentally just turned down my turtle beaches, so I can't hear it anymore. You know, guys, I want to tell y'all something about Let's Plays um, and such, if you watch a lot of them. Believe me, doing a Let's Play is, uh, it might be fun to watch, and it's kind of fun doing it as well. But it can be annoying because if you don't have the right setup, like, you cannot listen to the game for real. Like, you can't have it blasting through your TV because in your computer mic that you record your voice with when you do a Let's Play picks it up. So I've, I've done a couple Let's Plays there where it seems like I'm just kind of like really not into the game. Well, the reason for that is because I don't have no audio, and playing a game with no audio, then that's kind of, you know, annoying. Uh, but this time around, I have my stand-up mic, that's why you can hear my controller and all that nonsense, and I have my Turtle Beaches on, so I can hear, like, the game volume and stuff, but that was a total fail with my foot there. Alright, so this is, uh, the dreaded Bridge of Death. Ah, shit! Fuck! <laughs> oh, God! <laughs> oh, no! Oh. Okay, yeah, that's what can happen. If you're not careful, that will kill you, too. Um, I did not think that... I thought you had to run a little bit further up the bridge for that to happen, but, uh, yeah! So, um, what an epic moment. I probably will die here. I'm not gonna... I mean, I, all right, let's see if I can do it. Let's just go. There's a good chance I'm gonna die. I don't want to 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 die. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Don't kill me. Wow. Okay. Hmm. That's weird. Okay. Uh, this is really strange. Normally, he would always, uh, kill you. Or at least attack you or something. That's really odd. Um. The only thing I can think is that they must have changed the mechanics on him through a patch. Because, I mean, literally, if you were standing right here, he would totally, like, just wreck you. Um. That's really strange. All right, well, if you come down here, you can actually make a shortcut back down to this one bonfire. I might even go down there real quick. Let me, yeah, let me go do that. Uh, go down there and uh, get my potions and stuff back because I'm running low. Now, also, I hope you guys know this if you ever played this game, but there is a secret with that a secret with that dragon, and the secret is is that. You can actually chop off his tail with either a bow. Well, basically, most people do it with the bow. They think that's the only way you can actually do it. And you shoot arrows at his bow for, like, five minutes or something like that. And then you'll chop off his tail. And when you chop off his tail, um... Yeah, no, he's not breathing fire at me. Very, very interesting. Okay, there he goes, I think. There he goes! Oh, God! Okay. See, good thing I have my turtle beaches. I would have never known that was coming if it wasn't for that. But anyway, um, yeah, you can chop off his tail and he'll give you, like, a pretty cool sword, honestly. It's called the Drake Sword. And it's probably, like, the best sword you can get early game. So it's totally worth getting it. I mean, it's just a muscle, almost. Now, it takes a long time to chop off his tail, honestly, with the, uh, with the bow. So I'm going to try it another way. Hopefully, they haven't changed or fixed it with a patch or something. Well, let's go ahead and give it a try. So, run over here. Ah! Okay. And what you can do is, if you can get him to do it, it's kind of tricky, if I remember right. Uh, if you run into the wall, basically, there's a chance he'll, like, fly forward and land. If he lands, you can actually run past him. But as you run past him, you can chop off his tail with your sword. See, here he goes. That's it, that's it. All right. See, I put the lightning on. And now we can, we can do it. Christ! Okay, um, yeah, okay, there we go. Fucking, alright, that's a fail. He might kill me too. Oh, man, he definitely might kill me. Oh, oh god, I don't have my potions equipped. That's so surprising he didn't kill me. Let's see here. Okay, yeah, now that definitely killed me that time. Okay. Well, that was a bitch, um... But you kind of get the idea. If you can get him to do that, if you can get... It's it's a little tricky, and it's been so long since I've done this um, that I kind of failed really bad right there at doing it. But if you have the lightning on your sword and you start whacking on the uh, his tail, 
you can chop it off really quick and then you can actually get a shortcut um, and the shortcut is like totally worth it because you skip a lot of nonsense if you can run past them and that's the only way to run past them and like I said it's a better way or quicker way of chopping off his tail but uh, you really have to have the lightning on your thing otherwise it just you will not do enough damage come on breathe your fire there we go thank you for the free souls oh god how the hell did that hit me alright let's go ahead and get my souls alright alright I only got one more of this thing so this is like my last attempt and if I can't get it this time then I'm gonna have to uh, probably shoot uh, arrows at his tail I might show a little bit of it but I'll probably end the episode um, you know I'll show you how to do it, but I ain't gonna sit there for five minutes shooting arrows at his Oh god! Wow, he he did it too. I didn't have to do anything. Please don't kill me, please don't kill me. Alright, see that won't kill you always. Um There there he goes, there there's a tail. Okay, yeah, no, I'm fucked. I mean there's I'm just totally fucked. Come on, use the fucking potion. Wow, man, I'm so surprised this is not killing me quicker. Oh, fucking, whoa. Okay, yeah, if, okay, yeah. <laughs> that was not, that was not happening. Uh, I think they really changed, honestly, I, I really feel like they changed the mechanics on this dragon. Because he, he's definitely behaving a lot different than he used to. I mean, normally, every time you just kind of even came close to him, he would just, just start going crazy, shooting fire at you. It seems like he's not doing that as much. And, um, I don't know, maybe I just suck right now, or just I, I can't do it the way I'm used to doing it and all that. Alright, so, let's see where we're at. Okay, I'm going to go get my souls back, and then I'm going to go and get a bow. Real quick, I'll show you how to do that, and I'll show you like what to do to shoot arrows at it. Um, and hopefully everything will work out. Um, oh god, where's my souls? Where's my souls at? Oh god, it's right there. That's not good. Ah! Ah! You fucking bastard. <laughs> Alright, we gotta go underneath. Oh god! Okay. Alright, so we're good to go. Um, let's go ahead and go down low now. Basically, you want to come back down here. Believe me, you want to get this sword. Because once you run past him, um, if I remember right, because I will be running past him, I am not going to be doing all this nonsense where I have to go this long way. Um, if you run past him, um, I think he disappears. So you, you definitely want to get that sword if possible. Sucks too, I wasted um, both my lightning things, because the gargoyle fight, which will be coming up here soon, is a lot easier with those things. Alright, so you pretty much just want to come back down here, kill all these little bastards, pretty easy. Um, wielding your sword, or your axe, or whatever, two-handed, is actually like a lot, a lot better. Um, I will be frank, but like these kind of guys, fuck them. Just do that to him and you're good to go. I mean, look at that. Pretty easy. Um, I really don't like those guys. Look. Oh, hey, look. Something that is hidden behind some boxes. <laughs> Alright, I think there's a bad guy down here too. Yeah, there is. Wow! Bastard. Whoa! Oh, man, I hate hitting walls. Alright, you die. Is there anything over here? There might be something over here. What the hell's down here? Oh, okay. Yeah, there's something over here. Alright. Two more of these little zombie guys. Let's go get them. Bitch. Alright. Um, that's totally not... I don't need that. A broken sword. If I remember right, I think something's up with those broken swords. I think you can like fix them or something and make them into um, like really powerful weapons. Oh, okay. You remember what I was talking about earlier? This is how you do it. You have to do a sprint jump. There we go. See, this is how you get this over here. 
I knew I was messing up. I just knew it. All right. If you come over here, you get some bolts and the crossbow. Probably jump down. No, I guess I can't. Got all these enemies coming after me, though. So I need to watch out. Oh, man. There's a lot of them, too. <sighs> Don't throw that fire at me. All right. Let's go ahead and go back to where we were. And um, now we can go get the bow. And now it's just kind of like I said, I'm just going to show you where to stand. And I'm not going to sit there for like 5 or 10. I mean, I, if I remember right, it's it's quite a while. It can take you quite some time. And you have to have like, you have to like have a lot of, uh, here's, this, here's the guy right here. But you actually have to have like a lot of uh, well, arrows well. as well. You seem to have your wits about you. Hmm? Then you are a welcome customer. I trade for souls. Everything's for sale. <laughs> okay, yeah. Once again, he's fucking crazy like everyone else. Alright, let's see what he has. Uh, keys, oh, repair box, bottomless box. Um, here's his weapons. I think it's the short bow that we want. Yeah. All right. So buy the short bow for one thousand souls, and he should sell arrows too. I think you kind of want to get the large arrows so that they can do the most damage. I have no idea how many of these you need. I think you need like forty or fifty arrows. It's like quite a bit, honestly. Let's just buy fifty arrows. Um. I, I I just don't really remember, so I don't want to run out. If you run out of arrows, it's a bitch. I mean, I'll be I'll be perfectly honest with you. It's a big time bitch if you run out of arrows because I think you have to. I mean, literally, I think you actually have to um like start over from scratch. You know what I mean? Like you have to like literally start over from scratch. You know, you know that's so ridiculous. Also, I think you can kill this guy and you can get a weapon. But I'm not going to kill him, honestly. I don't really kill the NPCs. The only NPC I kill, for real, is the first guy, because he really doesn't matter at all. And I just don't like talking to that fool anyway, so... Alright. Now that we have the bow, I need to first check it out, because I know that it requires... Yeah, see, I don't have the stats required for it. So, look, what does it take? It takes a 12 dexterity and a 7 strength. So we need to go ahead and level up a little bit. So dexterity to 12. And I will put some points in the strength as well for now. And I think that's all I can afford. Let me not put any points in the strength for now. Make sure I can use this bow right. Just in case. There we go. I think everything should be... Whoa, what was that? There we go. Now let me take a look at it. I forgot how to use this thing, too. Oh, I don't have any arrows equipped. That's my problem. Oh, my God. I'm failing epically. I think you have to put arrows. I don't know where you put the arrows on. Oh, here it is. Arrows. All right. So I should have arrows equipped now. Or not. Ah, oh, man. All right. Here we go. There yeah. Now I can aim it somehow. How the hell do I? There we go. Alright, how do I put it away? I know there's a way to put it away. Yeah, okay, there we go. Alright, so I can go in and level up my strength as well a little bit for now. And then level 9, that's pretty decent. Now we can go back up top here. And we can actually start shooting arrows at this dragon's tail. You know, I really feel like they moved the dragon. I, if I remember right, he used to hover in the air, just like kind of float there. Now it's like he's sitting on top of the castle. Yeah, he's sitting on top of that castle. But I always remember him kind of hovering in the air. Yeah, because it looks like the tail has moved a little bit. Whoa, crap, I forgot about that. you got to be careful here. And I really don't have a weapon. But that really doesn't matter. you got to watch out for these guys. I think there's another one, too. There we go, he's dead. You do want to kill these enemies because you don't want them coming and smacking you and knock. I mean, they can literally knock you off the map when you do this, so you got to be kind of careful. There might be another one, too. Let me take a look. No, we're good to go. So now we can equip our bow. 
and figure out how to use it. There we go. And got to figure out how to aim it. There it is. No, see, that's a bad angle. What the hell? Yeah, no, they definitely, I think, moved this guy. Because I just, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm right. But, okay, now we can aim it. So you just got to hit him in the tail. See, it's, it requires a little bit of timing. But believe me, once you get used to it, there we go. Once you get used to it, um, you're good to go. See, and as I hit him in the tail the first time, he's going to go all crazy and... I think he's going to kill all the guys up there, and then he's going to come back, and then I have to sit here and time it, shoot the arrow. I mean, this takes, like I said, quite a while, um, because the tail has, like, a certain amount of hit points or whatever, and I, and I think, like I said, I think he gets them all back if you rest at a bonfire, which is definitely a bitch, because I know I did some damage to the tail with my sword, I know I did, but we'll see what's good. All right. Pull it back. Man, this is this is definitely gonna take some time. Alright guys, but uh um, let me put this away real quick. Alright. I really hope you have enjoyed this part. Basically by the time I come back next time I probably will have the sword and all that, but you kinda get the idea of what to do. I just don't feel like sitting here and doing it and uh, showing you and all that. But uh I really hope you have enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up. I would really appreciate that. And, you know, like always, guys, have a nice day.